So the next step involves installing Xcode. And I recommend that you go ahead and download it from the Mac App Store. So if you click on this link, then it'll take you to the Mac App Store preview. And if you click right here, then it'll take you straight over to the Mac App Store. And here is where you're going to click on get to be able to download Xcode. Now I've already got Xcode downloaded, so I can't download it again, but it's as simple as downloading any other app on the Mac App Store. Now this will take a while and historically it takes anywhere between 20 minutes to maybe two hours. So grab yourself a cup of tea and once you're done, come back to this video and we'll show you the next steps. So once you've got Xcode downloaded, it's really important that you open it at least once and you can open it by simply searching for it in Spotlight. So searching for the Xcode.app and if you double click on it, it should open up. And the first time you open it, it'll ask you for a whole bunch of things such as agreeing to this, agreeing to that, agreeing to give away your firstborn. Just click yes to everything and Apple will leave you alone. So in addition to setting it up in terms of the user interface, we also have to set up some of the Xcode command line tools. So again, you're going to go ahead and open up terminal and you're going to go back to that Mac OS installation page and you're simply just going to copy this line of code either by clicking here or highlighting and copying and you're going to paste it into your terminal and hit enter. Now, because we're using the keyword sudo, which requires admin privileges, it stands for super user do, you have to put in your password that you use to log in to your Mac. And because it's trying to be super secure, it won't actually show you what you're typing. So you're basically typing blind. And it's only when you get it right that you see your prompt again, so that dollar sign and your name, but otherwise it'll tell you, sorry, try again. So keep going until you get it right but this is essentially the password that you use to log on to your Mac. All right, so now that we're all set up and ready to go, then we can quit terminal again and we can quit Xcode as well. 